everybody in the world right now in some form of shape, you know, has American dreams. You know, you want to own a house, have a nice car, have a couple of nice things, you know. You want to travel and see the world and explore for the most part. Dreams like that, you know, I love to explore, see the world, have a few nice things, you know, be able to own my home, own some cars and stuff like that, you know. Then African principles are all the things I see around me or I saw around me growing up. Like I said, the struggle. People always having that strong faith that tomorrow will be better than today. You know, like we always look forward to the next day and, you know, work hard today knowing that tomorrow would be better than it was today. So, you know, that hope, faith. Also, people, pe people just have this, you know, they have this genuine happiness. They might not have a lot. You, you know, you might go to some places, you know, people are living in wooden shacks, you know, they don't have a car, they don't have much, but they still find a way to be happy. Humility before honor, that's something I read in the Bible, but it's also very, it is very, very prevalent out here. You know, like, humility always gets you far. So these are the principles that, you know, I've learned from growing up in Nigeria and I've taken everywhere with me, you know, like, be humble, work hard, and believe, you know, t tomorrow is always gonna be better than today as long as you work hard today. At age 16, I uh, moved to America for school. You know, the first city I landed in was Chicago. I had family in Chicago. If hell froze over, it would be Chicago <laughs> in the wintertime. But as far as, as, as music goes, my music skills were sharpened and honed in Chicago. I'm, I was, you know, raised by Chicagoans when it comes to music, you know. My closest friends, like I say, Three Trey, The Boy Illinois, um, Dave Koresh, those are the guys that I hung around a lot, you know, doing music, you know, freestyling, pushing themselves to be better all the time. So the thing I loved about America is I met a lot of real, genuine people who were honest with themselves and also honest with you as a person. You know, I'm a Nigerian in, you know, Chicago, in America, you know, I represent my country, but I'm trying to sell this culture and this life and tell our stories. I'm like, you know, why not come back to Nigeria, you know, like represent our own. Like, I learned, you know, I want to represent my country and represent my city the same way, you know, Chicago's, Chicago ones represent like Chicago Bulls, White Sox and like Black Hawks and stuff like that. To me, I found that very impressive. So like, learning and seeing and experiencing all these things, I want, you know, I'm coming back home. I want to brand Nigerian culture and, you know, show the world a side of of my country, my city, and my, my culture that they haven't seen, you know, the resilience of people, the hard work, people's, people's will to, you know, go through some of the most difficult situations in life just, you know, survive. I want to, you know, get that international respect and I want people to love my music. I want my fans to I want to see people enjoying and loving my music all over the world. I'm home.